I'm not excited about going on a raid. I'm leaving. What? No! No! I'll just have to be alone right now. <laughs> Here we go. Let's start using another minigun now once again. But, 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 minigun is pretty damn cool. Here we go. We're soon gonna deal with him. I definitely think that these cleavers work wonders on the big one. I don't have a lot of meds, but she does have a lot of meds. You're lucky to have me, I promise. Yes, I am definitely very lucky to have you. I had treehouse when I was a kid. Nobody cares! Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Episodic, and welcome to Last Dinner Survival, where I will try to kill the big one, but I won't be killing the big one alone. You can actually now go and hire a mercenary from the shop and in the beginning I wanted to hire Thug Bill because he has like 20 extra health but then I decided that hiring Scout Kate is going to be the best because she has these stone walls and it increases her and mine armor for some reason so that's what I will try to do and also I crafted a bunch of these cleavers and these cleavers are super fast so hopefully she will be able to use up all of these cleavers and we'll be able to kill the big one very very quick but before I go anywhere else I believe that I have to take a shower because look at me I'm just a stinking bastard and I don't want to cause bad impressions when we meet Kate. Smash like for more cringe. So here we go, we're all done, Gucci and ready. Let's go to mercenaries and let's hire Kate. We're literally gonna pay 99 cents to hire a mercenary. Well, that's it. We just bought Kate. Now let's go to our inbox and we have here Scout Kate. Let's call Scout Kate. Welcome, welcome. What the frick are your clothes? We're definitely gonna give you better clothes. Now, first of all, come to my base, Kate. Here we go, somehow, some way, we're gonna for force her to come inside. Here we go, she's inside of the base and now I will be able to give her another SWAT set. I've killed the big one in the past, so it's it's gonna be just a piece of cake, but I just want to see how fast we'll be able to kill the big one together. So let's try to give her a little bit of clothes here. And we're gonna most likely delete these uh, stinking shoes and stinking other stuff. Here we go, you look way better with this white armor. I'm also not gonna be a savage. We're gonna give her like literally like two stacks or three stacks of aid kits. Here go, take that, take your cleaver. Is it just me or we are really working well together? We didn't even start doing anything yet. Well, I got to drink a little bit of beer to not pee at the big one. So sorry, Kate. Do not look at me. Don't look at me. I got a pee pee. My dude is freaking total savage. I just took a shower. Well, if you want to eat, I've got some carrots for you. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to give all of these cleavers to her. Hopefully she will know how to use them. And let's take a couple of adrenaline injections because the last thing what I want her to do is die at the big one's place. Okay, we have six adrenaline injections plus I have two extra adrenaline injections in our inbox. So I think that right now me and Kate are going to go for an amazing adventure. Just please sit on the chopper. Like, I don't understand why I can't just sit there. But whatever, we're just going to go and find the big one and we'll try to kill him. Hopefully I'll be able to find the big one soon, but I kind of doubt that. So it took me almost one hour and 30 minutes just to find the big one. I've been traveling between all of these zones, but all that doesn't matter. Finally, we found him. I spent probably almost like 200 or 300 coins just to find that freaking big one. But let's just hope inside now and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to go and kill him with Kate. And also now there is a little bit of the sound delay. I... Hope I'll be able to fix that for you. But for me, when I shoot, there's like a second delay from that. Here we go. The big one is coming. So let's try to go and let's start killing him. And look at that. She does one damage as well for him. So let's start doing that. Me and Kate are going to shred him completely, totally, 100% properly. Okay, 16 damage. He does 16 damage for me. So I'll just try my best to go and do all that properly just like that here we go i'm gonna take now my minigun and i'll try to shred it just like that baby i'm definitely wasting way too many eight kits i shouldn't be wasting them just like that but whatever let's take another m16 and the reason why i'm using m16 not glocks is because m16s have a little bit more shots than any other gun uh, i mean like it's because one glock i can't even speak properly because glock has like what 70 or something shots i mean not really 70 but i don't remember but the point is m16 and glock they both do the same amount of damage one so what's the point of wasting Glock when Glock does in real 20 damage and M16 does only like 13 damage, right? I'm just wasting these bandages. Like, really? And he has only 700 health. Are you kidding me? How long is it gonna take for us to go and kill this idiato for real? Whatever, here we go. Gonna heal up now. Gonna add some more uh, bandages for myself. Here we go. Keep shredding. Here we go. Healing up. So he does 16 damage. What I have to do is also change my set time to time and my set is already getting broken a little bit. Okay, gotta use my minigun on this bad boy. Here we go, now gonna heal up, gonna take another M16 and my SWAT set is going to change, uh, I mean gonna break very quickly, I gotta get out of here like right now. I seriously gotta get out of here dude, 
Okay, we're gonna get out of here and I will change my SWAT set. What I just realized that whenever I'm fighting, I just ramble about total garbage. I have no idea what I'm talking when I fought, fought their big one. I literally don't remember even what I said. Whatever, now let's get rid of the set. I am pretty sure Kate is definitely putting in some work because he's like already at 600. So hopefully I'll be able to kill him. Maybe I still have to run away a little bit. But again, maybe I won't even have enough SWAT sets then. But hey, let's hope that everything is gonna be okay. Here we go, let's take all of my bandages. And let's take this minigun and let's start attacking the big one. Wait, is the Kate stuck now? Okay, Kate isn't stuck anymore. Okay, let's heal up and let's start using the minigun. Here we go. So the big one is almost at like 500 health. That's pretty cool. Here we go. Gonna get rid of this toxic abomination now. And we'll just keep grinding little by little. I just don't want him to attack Kate because as soon as he starts attacking Kate, she's gonna waste even more aid kits than I do. Here we go. Let's start using another minigun now once again. But, 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 minigun is pretty damn cool. Here we go. We're soon gonna deal with him. I definitely think that these cleavers work wonders on the big one. So at least that's another usage of these uh, mercenaries. So if you wanna go and uh, fight the big one, then you can hire a mercenary and give them a couple of cleavers and they will be able to do one damage. And I guess that's better than nothing, right? Okay, let's try to use another minigun minigun now. I'm really scared that I will start wasting my armor. Okay, I just broke that minigun, whatever. Do I have any more miniguns? Looks like I don't. Okay, gotta heal up. Gotta take another one of those. Wow, I'm literally running out of meds, dude. Are you kidding me? I gotta start being more careful. I don't have a lot of meds, but she does have a lot of meds. You're lucky to have me, I promise. Yes, I am definitely very lucky to have you. Well, if I didn't waste all my meds, I would have definitely not uh, had a problem like I have now. Because I keep healing at like 50 or something because I panic and I accidentally heal. But I gotta heal like at 24. Look at that. He has 150 health. Soon, soon we're gonna deal with the big one and we will see what kind of loot he's gonna drop. I'm... Like, again, we're gonna get bones and most likely we're gonna get the Z card. But, you know, after update 1.11.12, maybe they're gonna add some sort of an Easter egg. I wouldn't be surprised if devs would have added something like that. Okay, so 80 health, 70 health. Are we gonna let Kate finish him? I mean, I'm, I wanna get my experience. So, whatever, I start running out of uh, health. Uh, not of health, but out of my armor. Okay, my armor is gonna break very soon, so let's try to kill this big one ourselves because I want to get the experience. So here we go. I started shredding him. Did I get the experience? Yeah, 725 XP. And let's check it out. And we got definitely this guy's Z card, and we got some bones. So thank you, Kate, so much for coming here with me on this journey. So how much time there is left? So we have 30 minutes left. Imagine that. It took me one hour and 30 minutes just driving between these two zones trying to get the big one. Like, uh, last time when I tried to kill the big one, I was able to find him very very quickly without any problem but here it took forever so how many okay so she broke like what three almost four cleavers that's that's kind of cool like she definitely used those cleavers give me back my bandages i had treehouse when i was a kid nobody cares i didn't pay them to, exp to tell all these stories right just fight and now i'm totally ready to go for the raid so let's just sit on a chopper and let's see what kind of a base are we gonna get I'm not excited about going on a raid. I'm leaving. What? No! No! So I'll just have to be alone right now. <laughs> Whatever. All tears aside, let's try to freaking destroy this base. Okay, so I think... No, no, no. Let's try to chop down a door somewhere from over here. I believe that inside we're gonna get something noise, noise, and thick, thick loot. From the things that I've seen, I'll just need here one C4. So I'm just gonna explode this door over here. And Scout Katie is gone. She doesn't want to raid with me together. I guess these mercenaries have their drawbacks. Just like I said, you can't raid with them. I mean, that would be cool. We would be able to get here a bunch of and bunch of extra slots. But whatever. First of all, let's try to chop down all of these chests inside. And inside we got a couple of broken glocks. I guess that's already better than nothing. But again, broken weapons uh, don't usually excite me that much. Whatever, let's try to chop down now the second chest. And inside of this second set, we got a little bit of aluminum. Very nice. Inside of this chest, third chest, we got some gasoline, some leather and thick cloth. Most likely not even going to be picking that thick cloth up because I do have a lot of thick cloth and I don't think I'll even be able to use that up. Some nuts, totally don't care about it. And another wave of zombies has just spawned. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to open up all the chests, but again, whatever, let's keep chopping down. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to get something better. Let's open up the chest and inside we got, again, nothing, just one padlock. Hey, why, why, why do I keep getting this doodle raids all the time, every day, baby, nothing. I just wasted another C4. Whatever, here we go. At least I got some planks. 14 oaks. Okay, a little bit more than 14. Like 15 oak planks. That's already a bit better, but was that worth a C4? I definitely should have done more research on the base. But I just saw that I need one C4, so I was like, whatever, we can sacrifice one C4. And I definitely shouldn't have sacrificed it. Whatever, who cares? Am I right? It's not like I'm gonna cry in the pillow today. Whatever, inside of this chest, we got some more stones. Uh, and let's try to deal with this wave of zombies. 
Now let's go, let's fill up the chopper with all of these dumbboozle wheels and other stuff. Here go, let's add some gasoline. And now there are three chests left. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to chop them down before the big one spawns, or maybe not really. And inside we got even more wheels. I really, I'm not excited about that, really. I have totally zero excitement. Zero, zero, I repeat, zero excitement. I don't care about them. I don't even have any more space in the base to recycle all of these freaking wheels, all of these other thingies. How am I supposed to recycle those? I don't know. Whatever inside of this chest, we got like four we uh, four batteries, uh, four watches. All that is great. But now I have to prepare what I'll get inside of this thingy, and then I gotta exit because the the big one is gonna spawn. And even though today I killed already one big one, I don't think that this big one will be really happy to be killed. Okay, so let's get out of here. I don't want to be killing this one. I really just want to escape this place. But Zerk, you can't kill the big one in raids. Yes, I cannot kill the big one in raids because for those who didn't know, you cannot actually kill the big one because still sometimes I get a comment from somebody. Zerk, you dumb, kill the big one. But I'm like, dude, you can't kill the big one on raids. But hey, the more you know, am I right? So if you are interested in supporting this channel and consider joining you to membership, just click that join button down below and you're gonna get all the information that you need. Or consider following me on Instagram or Twitter, at Epicyric, link is over here on the screen. So I highly suggest you checking out my PUBG Mobile Let's Play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also guys, drop that like button well, we're at it and peace, 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 peace out. Mm -hmm. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Ah.